Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful day for some kayak fishing. It's been about a month since I've caught any smallies. So that's what we're gonna go for today. I've got my kayak all loaded up and ready to go. Let's hop in. We'll head out there and see if we can find a few smallies. Pretty shallow over there where I launched. So right now I'm just paddling my way up to where the river flows into this. Whoa, what was that? It kind of scared me. It must have been a big carp sitting in there. <laughs> anyway, I'm paddling my way up to where the river flows into this small reservoir I'm fishing today. Like I said, I'm looking for some smallies out here and I have a new lure we're gonna try to catch a few on. What I have here is the Bass Pro Shops Double Down Plopper. Kind of an interesting plopper lure. It's got a spinning prop on both the rear and up front. So they make these in a couple different sizes. I have the smaller three and a half inch 0.6 ounce version here in the perch color. And I've actually got one tied on my other rod already. So we'll toss them out there and see how he looks. It's got the prop up front and on the back. The one thing I do like about the design of this lure is they made it so those props spin in opposite directions, which should help prevent that lure from rolling and twisting up line like a regular whopper plopper will sometimes. I'm gonna toss them right up there. I'm still kind of in some weeds here, but We'll give him a quick cast, see how he does. I'll try to swim him around the weeds there. Yeah, he makes some pretty good plopping commotion. Looked like both of the props were spinning like they should. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep paddling my way up to well, where it gets a little bit deeper, get out of these weeds a little bit. We'll see if that's where the smallies are hanging out today and we'll see if double the plopper equals double the fun. Here we go. This is starting to look fishy. I get all the junk off my paddle. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll toss that double down plopper around and see if we can find a few smallies willing to bite out here today. this shoreline. The river comes in just kind of right up around the bend. There's a couple bends up there. It's just a short stretch of river we can fish on this one because there's a dam not too far up there. But sometimes those short stretches of river are really productive this time of year. There's not a lot of moving water for those fish to spread out in. So if that's where all the fish want to go, there might be a whole bunch of them up there. We'll work our way up there and find out. Dinner bell is ringing. It's time for those smallies to start biting. I think that's what that bell is. Well, I was planning on working my way upstream here. I mean, you can kind of see the dam as far as you can see up there. Can't get up there much farther, but I don't even know if I'll be able to get past this bridge here. It looks like my passage might be blocked. 
Maybe I can get her on that side. We'll, we'll check it out. Well, I haven't really found much up here, but there are a couple little bays just right off the side of the river over here. I kind of think we might find some. So I'm going to see if it looks like I can make it through here anywhere. Maybe on this side, I don't know. Take down. We're gonna try to make the passage through here. I think. I don't really want that lure dangling, or it's gonna get hung up on something as I'm trying to do a quick pass underneath this bridge here. Just a little bit sketchy here. Oh, yeah, we can get through this. I just do not want to touch these because they're all covered in tar. Hey, look at that. We made it through. I think I'll just leave my anchor stake down for now. Put my other couple of rods away for the time being. Hopefully this is the only one that we need today anyway. Is this where all the big smallies are hanging out? <gasps> Something's jumped over there. You see the splash? Oh, I thought for sure I was about to get smashed over there. I'm still looking for that first bite of the day. I gotta say, as much as I wanted to like this double plopper, it seems like half the time one of those two props isn't spinning quite like it should. So I don't know, maybe double the plopper is gonna equal double the headaches. <laughs> it seems like if I hold my rod tip real close to the water surface like that, it helps keep both of them spinning, but that front one really likes to stop, it seems, especially once I get that lure closer to the kayak. You can see that that front prop isn't spinning on it. It's just stuck there. I mean, I haven't caught any fish on it yet to bend up that wire or anything, so there's no reason for that guy to not be spinning like it should. Yeah, still looking for the first bite of the day though, I don't know. Maybe they just aren't having top water today. I have seen a couple of smallies swimming around, but not a whole lot of fish yet. Still kind of trying to figure them out too, I guess. Just hoping I'd find them up here on the river, but it's not a whole lot of action up here. I might have to backtrack and go toward the lake part of the reservoir.
there's a fish. Hey, we got one. It's just a little guy, but I'll take it. Be able to get us on the board at least. All right, they are just floppy little guys today. Get you unhooked. First one of the day on the double down plopper. Just a little smally, but it is a smally. No getting skunked at least. Uh oh, hooked my pants. Yeah, we'll fish around a little bit more. See if we can get that double plopper in front of a big one. Before I get too frustrated fishing it. I mean, the good thing is, even if one of the props hangs up, it still has another one to keep spinning and make some commotion. with my double plopper. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's a good one. Nice, Molly. Oh, maybe they are up here on the river. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the kind of fish I was looking for. Get that lure out of that guy. Take a quick look, because we're drifting back fast. That's a nice smallie. Nice, thick, healthy looking one. Biting down on my thumb. All right, let go and you're free. All right, we got one nice one on that double down plopper. I can get them untangled from my net before I hit the bridge back here. There we go. I should put my power pole stick back in, but I had to take it out to get underneath that bridge. That's all right, though. We'll just paddle back upstream the 50 yards or so I just floated. We'll see, maybe the big fish are all hanging out up here in the current. I can't go up a whole lot farther. There's a pipe that goes across the river and then a dam not too much farther up than that.
There we go. There's a nice one hanging out in the foam over there. Oh, as far upstream as I can go here, we found one. I'm probably just gonna have to float back downstream as I fight this fish here. Oh yeah, that's a big small, you guys. Down there. Well, maybe not quite as big as I thought, but that is a nice one right there. I'm gonna try to get my foot on a rock over here real quick so I don't go floating into anything. All right, I found a rock to get my foot on. And get this guy unhooked. Take a quick look at him. Yeah, that's a nice smallie right there. Geez, I saw him for a second when he was right next to me and he looked like a monster. <laughs> we'll get a quick measure on that one. Just a little bit shy of 18. Nice fish. Biggest one of the day so far on that double down plopper. Well, I found a couple fish up here in this faster moving water. I think this time of year, mid-July, those fish are just a little bit scattered though. There's probably a few up here, maybe a few down on the reservoir in some deeper water spots. Uh-oh, you see that? My double down plopper is starting to sink after three fish, and geez, I haven't even cast that thing into any trees or rocks or anything yet. Yeah, he's definitely taking on water. Can't really hear it in there, but that's the only explanation as to why that thing would be sinking. Luckily, I brought two of them. So maybe I'll tie the other one on and see if we can catch another fish or two. Yeah, this one is definitely sinking, so I think I'm gonna pull over in here, get out of the current for a minute. I'll retie my second double down plopper on. get myself off that boulder. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna swap over to the other one of those lures and we'll see if we can catch a couple more fish on it. Just get my other double down plopper tied on here, using a trilene knot to tie that guy on. There's a second one, the first one started taking on water and started sinking, which is pretty much the last thing you want your topwater lure to do. This looks kind of fishy in here. Check it out. We'll see if we find anything back here. There's one. Oh yeah, that's 
a nice one. Come back here, you. Ooh. Get in my net. Jeez, I wasn't sure if we were gonna find anything back here in the shallow little bay here, but this might be the biggest fish of the day so far. All right, I had to dig that double down plopper out of this fish's mouth. He absolutely inhaled that thing. Look at that beauty of a smallie. I'm gonna toss him on the measuring stick real quick. Yeah, about the same size as that one that I caught up on the river. About an eighth inch shy of 18. Nice fish though. Yeah, it's always fun when they come out and smash that top water. Well, hopefully this other lure isn't sinking now. <laughs> it only took a few fish to pretty much destroy that other one. Came back for it. I got him. That's a nice fish. He's pulling me out into the river here. He just beach me on these rocks. That'll work. you there we go there's a nice one get that guy on hooked was that the fourth nice one of the day on that double down plopper jeez that's a beast of a smallie we'll get a measure on this one too about 17 and three quarters seems to be about the average size of the nicer fish on this stretch Back under the bridge we go. Let's see if I can do this without getting sucked into the tree up there. Oh yeah, piece of cake. Well, I think that's gonna do it for today's trip. I didn't really have much action over here on this side of the bridge as I was fishing my way upstream. So I think I'm just gonna head back to the launch. It was a fun afternoon out here though. We found a few nice smallies willing to come up and try to eat that Bass Pro Shops double down plopper. So my final thoughts on that lure? Well, unfortunately, I can't say that I would recommend it. The second one I tied on here worked flawlessly. However, the first one I tried earlier today it seemed like about half the casts, that front prop was getting caught and not spinning as I brought it back. And it really only took a few fish for it to start taking on water and sinking, which is about the last thing you want your topwater lure to do. Honestly, it's kind of a gimmicky lure, in my opinion. I mean, it didn't really make a whole lot more commotion than the Whopper Plopper 75, even with the two props. And I mean, the more moving parts you have on a lure, the more problems you're gonna have with it. You're gonna be picking weeds off this thing all day, wondering why one of the props isn't spinning. <laughs> For a few dollars more, I would just go with the Whopper Plopper 75. I've never had a problem with one of these 75s. 
and it's got more of a rubberized tail, which is really nice for river fishing when I'm out here just beating the bank, casting that lure into rocks and logs. I don't have to worry about that tail snapping off. But the double down plopper, it did get the job done. We caught, what, four really nice smallies out here on that lure today. So not a bad way to spend the day. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.